Hi, and welcome to Movie Magic Scheduling. I'm your host, Ian, and in this video, I'll be walking you through the new calendar view. There are three easy ways to get to the new calendar view in Movie Magic Scheduling. One is to go straight from the menu bar under Schedule. Another way is from the strip board using the Show Calendar icon. And thirdly, if you're using a Windows-based computer, from the toolbar. The calendar view directly reflects the active strip board, so be sure to get your bearings if you've already started scheduling. I'll be starting from a schedule with no day breaks and with all my strips sorted by scene order. Additionally, I'll set up simple calendar dates, take off Sundays and Saturdays, and I'll be starting on a Monday. Now that we're set up from scratch, let's take a look in the calendar. The first thing you'll notice is that the calendar itself is empty and that the unscheduled area is full of the strips. This reflects the strip board and that I've yet to add any day breaks and therefore none of my strips are assigned to any dates. Upon adding a day break on the strip board, all those days strips are now on the calendar. Even if I skip a day on the calendar, the strip board will understand this and create back-to-back -back day breaks. Notice also that all the unscheduled strips are simply located below the last created day break on the strip board. So don't confuse the unscheduled area with the boneyard. The boneyard still exists for removing scenes from the schedule without having to delete the actual breakdown sheets. As far as adjusting the schedule from the calendar view goes, there are a number of features to be aware of. One great feature is the ability to move an entire day simply by dragging the day's header. Additionally, you can highlight strips by dragging from an open area. You also get two default layouts for the calendar view, by location and by set. These layouts can be modified under Design Calendar Strips. Items can be added to the calendar strip by entering the titles in squiggly brackets. These titles can be found in the Strip Designer window. For a quick example, I can add IE to my strip and the strip will display the interior-exterior info. Or, if I have a long scene number, it may be best to only have my scene number display and omit the set title. A few other things to be aware of regarding the new calendar view. The sort function still works the same. Since sorting on the strip board will delete the day breaks, in the calendar view, all strips will be subsequently sent to the unscheduled area, but in the newly sorted order. Additionally, sorting can be conducted on the unscheduled strips only. Red flags are built right into the calendar view as well. A quick review of the conflicts can be seen with the Show Conflicts icon. Note that this window only displays strips with conflicts, not every created red flag. To view all created red flags, go to Breakdown Red Flags as usual. And for printing, the calendar views are noted with a small calendar icon, while the strip views are noted with the strips icon. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to call EP Product Support at 818-955-6300 or email us at products at entertainmentpartners.com. Thanks for watching.